Hey, it's Tony Bruschi. This Thanksgiving weekend, we're taking a look back at some of the most compelling cases and conversations that we've had in the last year. Here's another one of those conversations. This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. January 26, 2011. Ellen Greenberg lost her life. Stabbed more than 20 times, including post-mortem stab wounds into the back of the neck, chest, and head. Police asking the medical examiner to rule it as suicide, contrary to their already understanding this was a homicide. It's a case that makes little to no sense, and even less when we learn about the politics in Philadelphia and the politicians involved who refuse to give this case the justice it deserves and a look at that autopsy one more time to properly identify how Ellen died. All this week, Sandra and Josh Greenberg are with us to hear their story, struggling to find justice for their daughter, Ellen Greenberg. Ellen passes away and our accountant goes to file our tax returns and Ellen's tax returns and Ellen's check a refund cashed. check. Oh my goodness. Somebody stole her refund. I hope, do you understand also she was in this Philadelphia suburb of Maniunk and we were in Harrisburg about two hours away. Sure. Okay. The the refund is is cashed or stolen and then cashed. Do we know or do you know who cashed that, how that, that took place? Well, I think we did know at one time, but with everything else going on, it really became something unimportant. Sure. Sure. Just another... But yet it was pretty chilling to find yeah. out like here we're trying to do the right thing, even though we lost our daughter. Yeah. We're filing her tax return and someone. It was another thing on the boat, you know, just like another little. Yeah, of another course. Th- I mean, it, 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 of course, it looks suspicious at, at the beginning. Did that incident, do you believe, had anything to do with her murder or was it just. You know these no, sort of things no. happen to people. I have no idea. No, it, it, it wasn't. It was. It 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 didn't. Um, it didn't have any linkage to okay. her murder, as far as we we could tell. A concern. We weren't concerned about it. Sure. Just one of those things where the timing is just very very off. For yeah, it's, it's a weirdness. Mm-hmm. Sure. A weirdness. Yeah. Good English, Josh. When Go you ahead. when you. And I'm sure, I mean, this is a horrible moment, but can you take us to, to what, what, what it was like, what happened when you found out and got the news that your daughter had passed? Well, honestly, it, it didn't, it didn't sink in. It was so random. It was so crazy. We were, you know, snowed in the snow plows hadn't come by, you know, there's tons and tons of snow. Mm -hmm. We couldn't even think about backing out of our garage and the driveway and the roads because it was a nor'easter. And I get a phone call from the fiance's father telling me that something terrible has happened to Ellie. And he called on the landline. And I remember um, like screaming for Josh to pick up, you know, the phone and I said, well, so is there an ambulance? Where's the ambulance? And Richard Goldberg says, there is no ambulance. And so it still didn't register in my brain. We That was the first little bit that we knew. We yeah. were, it was so sketchy and we were- No police sure. called us. No one called us. Richard was was evasive and didn't really answer it. Say, 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 come out and say anything. And he goes, "We don't know." Yeah. So it was all we were really in the dark. Yeah. We might have been in Arkansas for all. I know. Go ahead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so they they find her. We the story that we know uh, is uh, that was said was he broke the door down. That that Sam broke the door down after working out downstairs. 
uh, because it was locked from the inside. Okay, but so no, let me clarify. Yep, and that's what I want you to do. That's why I was I walking through I do not it. know that there were any witnesses. This is the fiance's statement. Okay. This is what he's telling people. Yep. That the door was locked from the inside, according to him, mm -hmm. that he, after all the different phone calls that he made. Yeah. Which were very, not very nice. Okay. Not very soothing. Didn't show care, for, concern for what his it was. Uh, things. Her were not they didn't show concern. They were just about him. Get me. Let me get in. Let me get in. Let me get in. And anyway, it, uh, it this is a just a terribly painful time in our lives. Yeah. But so he's trying to get we and we didn't piece any of this together. We didn't know any of these details. Sure. Months yeah. And months and months and months and months. I mean, and we didn't hear the 911 call for years and years and years. Yeah. Sure. You've heard it. Mm -hmm. And there's no denying it. You know? Yeah. No denying what? It, it is the 911 what, call, Josh. Yeah. It, it is. It is disturbing uh, to listen to it. Um, and, and there are so many things. That are not true. And that don't add up. What are instance, some, yeah, I was just going to ask you, what are some of those things uh, that do well, not Well, the basic add up? one is he didn't break the door down. Okay. If you, the, the door was locked from the inside by a swing light yeah. lock, like they have at hotels, mm -hmm. not like a, a deadbolt or anything fancy like that. Yeah. And basically two screws were detached or not detached, were ajar and everything else, else was, was intact. Perfect, was perfect. So the lock was not distorted, not not abused, not damaged. Okay. In and fact, no in fact, in fact, one TV show, the lawyers wouldn't even show it because they knew it was false and they didn't want to get involved in it. In a local TV show we did here, they didn't want to show that the lock was in fact not broken down. Right. Well, they didn't want to show the lock. That's all I can say. I can't tell what you was on their mind. There's lots yeah. of uh, pictures of the lock. And if you go online and you look at the, into these swing locks, there's a, lots of things online on how to mm -hmm. lock them from the outside, how to lock them from the inside, you sure. swing the door shut card. All this is out there in our podcast and stuff we've done already, yeah. Tony. Sure. So, so it's all out there that the yeah. lock was not damaged sufficiently. Okay. So in that fact, one of the podcasters, to show what it would take to, to get the lock to the door, he did it on his own house and he took, broke the frame to, to the door to get the lock so he could come in. Mm -hmm. The lock was not ajar enough to allow even your forearm through or my okay. forearm. And there was no way he could go in. So, And he was out there outside the apartment describing on the 911 call the scene in the apartment, which was no longer true. Mm -hmm. She said she was lying down. And he said she was lying down and she wasn't lying down. The pictures it, it, reflect that she was seated. Mm -hmm. And there's a blood going from her nose like to her ear horizontally. That doesn't happen. Blood flows down because of gravity. Mm -hmm. So that was a problem that shows that she was moved. You understand what I'm saying? Sure, yeah. So the whole thing is bogus. The crime scene was staged, it was staged. in my opinion. Not even your opinion, our expert's opinion. Yeah. Eilman, Detective Eilman, he said it was staged. We have numerous, we have, uh, what's the guy in, Phil in Pennsylvania? Cyril Weck, Weck, Henry Lou, Wayne, Wayne Ross, Henry Lee, Henry Lee, Wayne Ross, uh, INA that worked for us on the um, digital forensics. The, the, the yeah. Digital forensics. So we 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 we've, we've hired the best people yeah. to examine this thing, and all we get is BS and nothing. Sure. Like we're waiting right now for a jury of three judges to resolve an appeal made by the city to keep us out of uh, court. They heard a 15-minute discussion from our attorney and the cities, and that was November 15th. And guess what? We haven't heard squat. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you They're wasting time. They want me to die or run out of money. The yeah. opposition is that's the whole plan. Yeah. Their power to delay, deny, defer, deflect. There's more of my conversation with Sandra and Josh Greenberg coming up. Be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. So you don't miss any of this conversation every day this week. I'm Tony Bruschi. Stay with us. This is the Hidden Killers podcast with Tony Bruschi. 